Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF News video, and once again, a FNAF News video almost mainly dedicated to brand new info regarding the upcoming FNAF movie. We do have a few other topics to talk about at the start of this video, like some merch updates, but mainly we're here to talk about some brand new major updates regarding the film. So if you're excited, don't forget to hit the like button, scroll down there, give that sub button a little tickle, you know you want to. And quite frankly, let's not waste any more time at the start of this video, because we got some brand new daycare attendant socks to take a look at. You betcha, I'm starting this video off by talking about some socks. These showed up on Hot Topic's website not too long ago. On one sock, you've got the sun version of the daycare attendant, all smiley and cheery, and on the other side, you've got the sleeping moon. Taking a quick pit stop at U2's, they launched a new wave earlier today, and this wave is fully dedicated to brand new plushies. You've got Golden Freddy, the marionette, shoulder riders for the sun and moon. Once again, you've also got sitting versions of Freddy, Glamrock Freddy, Toy Freddy and also Rage Quit Toy Freddy with the Mr. Hugs iPad. So those guys are up on the website right now. In fact, I'll leave it linked down below if you see any plushies you're interested in. And finally, for merchandise news, let's take a look at Funko because we got some major announcements earlier today. First up, we've got Tony Mario Bros coming in clutch once again with a brand new leak. This time, announcing a brand new statue is in the works and that it's going to feature both Freddy and Bonnie. So that's pretty massive. I'd assume it's just going to be them up on the show stage which is a little sad because it's excluding Chica, though I would imagine if they had three characters, that would bump up the price a whole bunch. But a single statue featuring both Freddy and Bonnie is going to look absolutely amazing. And Tony also revealed that the previously announced holiday wave coming out later this winter, which is going to include plushies, brand new pop figures, action figures, and a whole bunch more, is likely going to feature the characters in the designs of the pint-sized heroes from the 2021 advent calendar. Because descriptions for this upcoming wave has the characters described as Bonnie with lights, Chica as a present, Foxy a candy cane, and Freddy as a holiday. And that matches up almost perfectly with the designs we got in that calendar, so yeah, that's gonna be a very interesting wave. And now let's move on to the FNAF movie news. First up, the other day we've got Matthew Lillard cast as purple guy himself, William Afton, posting to his Instagram with the caption, prep day one, hashtag FNAF, hashtag William Afton, hashtag purple. Now for some reason, our boy Matthew looks a bit sad in this picture, hopefully that's just the ankle. But yeah, on the 17th of February, that officially marked day one of Matthew on set for the film, that's very exciting. We've also got some brand new cast announcements. First up, we have Wyatt Parker, who posted to his Instagram story saying, no better way to finish filming than pizza with a new friend. And the image shows him alongside Lucas Grant, who's previously been announced as Garrett in the film. So most likely, Wyatt has joined the official cast for the film, though it's not confirmed quite just yet. But personally, I think based on this picture and what he says in the caption, pretty safe to say he's been cast in the film. Next up, you've got Joseph Poliquin cast as a supporting role. Now, quite a few people have made the observation that Joseph here looks quite a bit like what a young Matthew Lillard could look like. So some people are assuming that Joseph is going to be playing a past version of William Afton, maybe in some cutscenes, because we do know at some point there's most likely going to be some flashbacks. And then also for brand new cast members, we've got Julia Bellanova. We're not too certain what her involvement with the film is going to be just yet, but it does say on her actor's access that she's working on the film on the 27th of February. And now we move on to the two final topics for today's video, both regarding the FNAF film, and there's some pretty massive ones. First up, we've got a photo posted by a employee of Jim Henson's Creature Shop, where they just wanted to show off a goodie bag they got at work with some FNAF stickers inside of it. Which, by the way, I've seen some people cast this as fake. I can actually confirm this was posted by a legit employee of Jim Henson's Creature Shop. They just wanted to show off, like I said, their goodie bag with some of their brand new stickers they got inside the bag. But the reason why we're looking at this image and why this post is so important is that if you look at the top right of the screen, you can see an animatronic eyeball with an eye color of yellow. Now, there's two characters in FNAF 1 that have an eye color of yellow. First up, we've got Chica's Cupcake. Almost definitely, he's going to be making an appearance in the game, and also his eyelids do match the color we see see it in the image. So very possible it could be the cupcake, or it could also be Foxy, and they've just not painted the eyelids. Either way, this is incredible, because this is technically our first look at what the animatronics are going to be looking like in the film. And a lot of people have pointed out they've even replicated the cloud spec that Scott uses on some textures in the FNAF games. They've also replicated the eye texture itself for the pupil. I mean, showing a side-by-side -side between what they look like in the game and this image in real life 
it's crazy how accurate this is. It just gets me super, super pumped for the film, what the characters are going to be looking like, and already I have full, full confidence that they're going to nail it at Jim Henson's shop. And lastly, we've got something equally as amazing, our first proper look at the actual building of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza in the film. This was posted by YouTube user Niter Denight. They say in the video they posted that the set was built very close to where they live, and then they show a few pictures and videos of what appears to be a construction site building a facade of a pizzeria. By the way, if you don't know what a facade is, because I saw a few people confused, it's just the front of a building. Because, I mean, technically for the film, they don't need to build a full-scale pizzeria. They can just use some traditional, like, Chuck E. Cheese pizza place or something like that for the inside of the film. But for the outside, it looks like they're building an entirely brand new set for some establishing shots of the building. And of course, like I said, just general, like probably people walking in and out of the building. They're building a full scale front of a pizzeria just for that alone, which is insane attention to detail. So far, it looks absolutely amazing. You've got the iconic FNAF black and white checkerboard pattern going around the outside. You've got some colorful yellow, blue, red, green, it looks like maybe even. And like I said, when you go around the front of the building, Building, there was nothing there because they don't need to build a full-scale pizzeria. They're just building the outside front of it, again, the facade, to give the illusion of a real-life location. But it's just going to be absolutely insane to see that in the movie, most likely with the giant Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place sign we took a look at in a previous FNAF News video. I just can't believe it's finally coming together. I'd imagine this creator might post another update on the construction, maybe when it gets closer to being finished, or heck, maybe even when it is finished. So I'll keep a close eye out for that, and if if you don't want to miss it, maybe consider subscribing to this channel. And actually, right as I was wrapping up this video, Stewell just made a brand new tweet talking about how Help Wanted is finally back on mobile. If you don't remember, earlier this year, I believe it was like right at the start of the year, very early in July, unfortunately, it got taken off the App Store for some reason, and when you tried to go and launch the app, it wouldn't actually work, it would just crash. Something similar happened back in October of last year, so I don't know why this keeps happening, but luckily still will made a tweet saying, hey everyone, great news, FNAF Help Wanted Mobile is back up and running on iOS 16. Thank you for your patience and support. We're also committed to keeping our game up to date with future iOS versions. Let's keep having fun, fun, fun. But that's gonna do it for today's FNAF news video. Tell me what are your thoughts on all the news we talked about, the facade, of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place in the film. Also, technically, our first look at the animatronics for the film, all the merchandise news from YouTube's and Funko, I'd love to know what are your thoughts in the comments down below. But thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.